Hello, everyone. Uh, oh, no. Please tell me. Oh. Yep. All right. We got the Sebum Essential Pre-Workout. Code Leo Ram, 10% off if you wish to support me. Um, and yeah, push day today. Excited for this one. Always excited. I think I say that every single freaking video. Ooh. Been, this pre-workout has been left in my car for a while now. So, it's a little frosty. Oh, man. Do I not have a beanie here? If I know it's whatever, I could just run inside maybe. Or I just rock no beanie today. Oh, yeah. That is some good stuff. This pre-workout actually tastes amazing. Like, not even buys anything. Just out of most pre-workouts that I've tried. Look, I got a bean right here. The Sebum one has been amazing. Bucked up. Although, trash formula is pretty good taste. Um, what other one? Euphoria is great formula, but average, like below average taste at least for most of the ones I've experimented with. The taste has been a little bit um, subpar to my expectations of pre-workout. I mean, but I'm pretty sure it's because he uses like natural um, sweeteners. He doesn't use any artificial sweeteners. So that's fair, all right? I guess you can't really judge it that hard. Anyways, I saw a video of Lex Little, like 10 seconds before I got into this car, of him hitting 410. 410 pound squat, I mean bench. So that's how four plates and like a .5, I don't know. I don't know if he was doing like kilos or anything for it to be 410 instead of 405. But anyways, I'm freaking behind, right? He may be, what is he, like 21 years old, 22 years old? I don't even know how old Lex Little is. Oh. But regardless, why am I still not at 405? And these influencers are hating it, even though most of them are like five years older than me and on steroids. Not saying that Lex Little is on steroids, I personally don't don't believe so. I, th I believe he has freaking one in a million genetics though. His physique is absolutely insane. But he just seems like a pretty um, honest guy. So he doesn't seem like the type to lie about being natural. And I also believe lots of people use that as like a coping me mechanism, you know. Oh, no, these guys are on steroids anyways, you know. My progress for Natty is absolutely phenomenal and absolutely beautiful because all these influencers only blow up because they're not Natty. Just come on. Just admit that you suck at weightlifting and you're not good enough, right? Me personally, like, I've made pretty good progress, pretty damn good progress naturally, you know, not, not to put myself up on a high horse here, but a 315 bench at 17, um, like 435 squat at 17, which is not that great, but like pretty freaking above average, right? It's not that bad um, of numbers that I have, especially since I'm more of a power builder kind of guy, and I also work on my physique from time to time. Some people, which most people gotta understand, like I tell, so this influencer, he has like a five plate squat, maybe like six plate squat, like 800 pound deadlift or whatever, and his bench, he just hit a video, he made like a video of him hitting a 405 bench as a PR. And everyone was hating on him. Look at these guys, like rookie numbers, like, and their defense was that their rookie numbers because he has such other good numbers like his squat and deadlift but like people specialize in certain certain parts of working out you know you look at my deadlift it's zero i all time it's like 405 i believe um that was senior year holy cow this guy's absolutely tailgating me um but like that doesn't represent the kind of guy that I am in the gym, you know. If you look at my bench, I'm an absolute monster in the gym. Uh, repping out three plates, which by the way, we're gonna try for three today. Three plates for three reps. See how it goes. So, well, like, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. I mean, my squat and bench are pretty damn even. I mean, I have like a, I don't know, but I was doing like three, three, 
315 for two sets of 12 yesterday. I mean, if, if 315 is pretty light for me, 405 is pretty, like, it's heavy some days, but, I mean, it's not that crazy for me. Like I said, like, last year I hit four, or, like, not last year, maybe, maybe, like, in May, I hit, like, 435, 435 squat. So I got a five-place squat coming soon, easily, um, for sure by the end of this bulk. I mean, I'm not even rushing that one, because I already have a feeling, like, a big feeling that I could hit that. Um, and... My bench is pretty equal to that, you know, which I'm proud of, you know, I, even though I don't make it seem like I'm a big leg day enjoyer, I am proud of the fact that I don't have a huge bench with some horrible legs, you know, with some horrible squat uh, PRs, because that would just make me look like a meathead who only trains chest, so squatting has been a big part of my life due to the fact that I don't want to make myself have that embarrassment. Also, it's pretty damn fun to hit um, squats. I, I'm not even going to lie. Squats can get tiring a little bit, like exhausting, like cardio, but it's pretty damn fun to hit some good numbers on there. definition of ego lifting um, the guy I was lifting when went crazy and did 335 for one on his last set 50 years old which was crazy so I tried to keep up after work shift and on my third set and obviously I couldn't hit it but you know first I tried and didn't feel that heavy though which is a good sign to PR into likely 100% because of work. <sighs> you know, I don't know, I'm tired of making excuses, you know. Just feeling weak today. Whatever.
Alright. Um I'm just record like this because I really want to pay attention to the road today as I'm driving. It's pouring rain outside. Which is weird. Um You'd expect that more in spring. And it's November, about to be December soon, so why is it pouring rain outside? I don't know. Should be snowing by now, but for some reason, you know, global warming, although I hate to get political out here. But anyways, um, I don't know. I'm tired of saying I want to hit a goal and not hitting it. You know, I feel so behind and I feel there's not a single comment like being like pressuring me, but I feel like a whole bunch of weights on my shoulders um, just to hit this you know I said I think in October yeah I said I was going to hit in two months 315 for five which would be like December or something um, and I'm still hitting for two I hit it in October for two and I'm still hitting for two and today was even worse than what I've hit it before in the past and yeah it's after a shift but you know am I just gonna be using any excuse in the world now to explain the fact that my workouts are absolute trash and I'm not making any progress I'm actually going down in progress not really because it is a work shift but then again I just said no more excuses but I don't know hopefully next one can be better see the failing like this makes me want to hit even harder last time and like maybe even try it again but it may be best to stick to the plan and it's just one workout where I do a deload on bench only I hit everything else hard maybe on incline bench as well I do a little softer and save it for my PR and we'll see how that goes but I don't know <sighs> feeling behind I'm feeling stuck and I know what I could do to fix it I could just eat more <laughs> and I absolutely suck at it but starting today is the greatest comeback you'll ever see in your life the bulk will go insane I won't stop eating right I'll be eating more than you've ever ate in your life Right. Maybe some days I'll do 10k calorie challenges on accident, right? <sighs> I don't know. But I will try my best. And I will try to provide that 405 bench for you guys one day. I saw a video or like a, I don't know what it was, a Reddit post or something like that. I don't know. This guy took 8 years. 8 years to hit a 405 bench. And I just finished my second, I think like this month or like a couple months ago was like completed two years of lifting so this would be going on to my third year of lifting and I should be proud of it but I don't know it's like what you expect from yourself you know I've hit all my goals in the past and the fact I don't know I sound like a little baby right now complaining complaining but just like the idea that yeah, for you guys, you might be like, oh, but Leo, you hit 315 bench for in two years. That's like crazy. But for me, it's like, okay, I hit 315 bench in two years. So now my expectations are to perform are even higher than they were before because I have more knowledge and I know what I'm doing and I should be able to achieve these kind of things without any issue because I have in the past and that's kind of the expectations that I've set on myself. But instead, I'm not achieving them and I'm actually staying stuck because I'm just not eating enough even though I know I should be eating enough and it's just a whole mess you know and even though it may seem like a not big deal for you the expectations that I kind of set in my head for myself um, is like I don't know comparison is a thief of joy and I find myself comparing myself to a lot of people you know I mean even the unnatural, like not even the fake natties or whoever that may be. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna say any names. But also like the people who who openly said they're on steroids. I, I find myself comparing myself to them, and it just leads to a whole mess. Which 
I don't know if I can stop comparing myself, if that makes sense. I just wanna, my whole ideology behind that was that if I set my expectations so high, um, I'll be able to achieve more. Even if I don't achieve the expectations, even though I may be failing the expected goal, it's better to fail a super exaggerated goal for me than to set a lower goal and hit it, if that makes sense. Cause I feel like I'll be able to do more when I set my standards so high instead of limiting myself to something I know I should be able to do and I don't know I, I've always had that thought process behind everything so I don't know I'm feeling stuck and yeah thank you for watching see you guys in the next poll day maybe yeah you guys will see me in the next poll day tomorrow leg day two yeah see ya